Howdy folks. Um, I've noticed a lot lately on YouTube that uh, everybody is promoting cheap um, uh, camping gear and bushcraft gear. You know, that everybody is trying to advertise the cheapness of going out on a day hike or one or two day hike and also uh, on the backs of our buses the police and authorities are advertising uh, preparedness kits they want everybody to be prepared because I guess they're admitting that they won't be able to help us out in uh, disaster situation bad weather snowstorm tornado whatever chemical disaster whatever should happen so most of this uh, gear comes from the dollar store I tried to put together a decent cheap kit um, and uh, some of it's from uh, uh, garage sales and uh, clearance aisles so I just thought I'd get into it real quick uh, some dollar store food, uh, Mr. Noodles, and some trail mix, some canned meat, corned beef, and tuna, a couple boxes of rice aroni, and some cashews. It's pretty good for a couple days, you just ration it out. Um, you got your uh, first aid kit, some uh, sleepies pills, uh, diarrhea relief, should you get some bad water, some allergy relief. Uh, three mini first aid kits, some tape, uh, there should be some gauze in there somewhere, I have to add it I guess, uh, and some pain reliever, ibuprofen. So I got the medical and the food, the shelter is a heavy duty plastic tarp or you can get a, or that's a heavy duty painter's cloth, you can get a tarp. Um, I've got a poncho as well, you shelter in place. Um, so that's uh, shelter food. Uh, I have a water filter and a container to boil water in. My eating utensils are in there as well. Um, some really cheap uh, towelettes. You get those at the dollar store. Uh, that's cool. Um, uh, to, for cutting, I'm a little light on the cutting area. I got a dollar store uh, knife here. It's got a saw on it and stuff. I haven't opened it yet. I haven't tried it. But, uh, and these small little knives for maybe carving a spoon or something or cutting cordage. I've got uh, some jute twine and some, uh, some uh, nylon rope as well as some fishing line. I need to get some uh, fishing lures and maybe an eye hook or an eyelet hooks so I can screw into a uh, sapling and use build a fishing rod um, so that's uh, food shelter medical cutting cordage bandana for a filter on a uh, pre filter on the water maybe some char cloth in the container um, I've got uh, some fire starter um, some little Vaseline I'm having problems focusing here, but uh, it's a uh, little Vaseline to go with the cotton balls, some uh, lock deicer, which is flammable, and some uh, fire starter and some tea candles, uh, a couple boxes of matches and a lighter. That's re really good for uh, fire starter. I got lighting, a couple different, uh, got the tea lights and the uh, couple of flashlights and some snap lights there so that's covered and you need to protect yourself while you're out working um, I've got three different kinds of gloves from light to heavy some knee pads because you're always on the ground uh, preparing your fire and uh, pre preparing firewood and your shelter and everything I've got a couple different bags here a small knapsack um, with a couple of bottles of water in it ready water um, and like a couple of bags and uh, 
Ziploc to make this carry all bag kind of, or uh, um, I guess I could use that as a wild edibles collection bag or a uh, Tinder collection bag, so to speak. I'll put another plastic bag in there so I can separate everything. But uh, pretty much, when there's a little bit of dental and uh, some cleanup there with the wipes and uh, dental care, some more lights, little blinky flashy lights you can hang up to uh, maybe mark your uh, your campsite should you have to leave at night you got the blinky flashy lights going off to make it easy to find maybe ward off some animals as well but uh, yeah everybody's been uh, uh, producing these cheap little kits oh yeah um, for clothing you're gonna already be dressed appropriately for the weather I hope um, I've got a toque as well as a change of socks and underwear um, it, that would just make things a lot more comfortable um, you could add a wool blanket or a light sleeping bag uh, I do believe I have those in my car already so that wouldn't be too bad I have another uh, warm jacket in my car as well so uh, I don't know, the authorities seem to be saying uh, you're on your own lately, look after yourself type thing. Um, this is around $60, this whole kit. Um, another thing, I wouldn't uh, hesitate really to uh, even donate it to a homeless person, you know. It's, uh, it would sure help them out and uh, it would make their day you know so that's just my take on uh, the cheap dollar store slash discount store uh, camping equipment slash emergency preparedness kit so I just thought I'd throw my two cents into there uh, maybe add some bug repellent maybe upgrade the knife the cutting tools uh, I'm perfectly able to do that I could but uh, I don't know I I think this is good. Maybe some stomach medicine in there. You know, like t some tons and acid or whatever. But, uh, no, I think this is a pretty good kit. Um, I'm pretty happy with it. I could live like a king with this kit. Focus. Okay. Yeah, I got the water filter, the container to boil water. I think I've got everything to make uh, two or three days nice out there in the woods should I need it and I just thought I'd uh, throw that on YouTube because uh, the authorities are basically admitting lately that uh, they're not going to be around so I hope everybody likes this and uh, possibly pick up some more subscribers and that's my two cents Thanks very much. I hope it helps somebody out there who is a little perplexed on the gear, on what gear they should carry. Um, I, I hope this helps. Okay, until the next one. Bye-bye. Talk to you later.